Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by The Union Bank Company, committed to you. And by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai. The home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, we just wrapped up a really good game between Coldwater and Lima Central Catholic. Our final score there, LCC with 75 points, Coldwater with 100. That means the winner of this game is going to take on Coldwater down the road. All right, we have now Riverdale and Continental to, uh, to pair up, and uh, we're going to introduce you to our players right now. Joining us from Riverdale, we have Samuel Thacker, Wyatt Thacker, Andrew Borkowski and Benjamin Borkowski. And Riverdale is coached by Christy Thacker. Welcome to you, gentlemen. All right, turning now to Continental. Jalen Army, Kelsey Miller, Garrett Recker, and Nick Koenig. And Con Continental is coached by Jordan Stryker. Welcome to all of you. All right, our first round, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. Make sure you speak up and make your answers as complete as possible, especially on the names, okay? Get those buzzers ready, and here we go. Which U.S. president issued a doctrine in 1947 guaranteeing aid to nations resisting communism? Riverdale. Roosevelt. Roosevelt is incorrect, so Continental, you can try it. Yes. Truman. Could you expand the name? Harry Truman. There you go. Oh, good Very it. good. Harry S. Truman. Which Julia was famous for a TV series about French cuisine? Uh, Julia Childs. Julia Child is correct, Continental. All right, number three. In what state did Jesse James live and die? We cannot take the answer, all right, so we will give that. It is Missouri. All right, moving on, question four. What word designates either a balloon cargo basket or an oared canal boat? Yes, Riverdale. Gondola. Gondola is the answer. Name the city in Northern Ireland that has been a center of violent strife for decades. Time is up. The answer is Belfast. All right. Identify the colorless, inert gas known by the symbol NE. Yes, Riverdale. Neon. Neon is correct. What American author wrote Robinson Crusoe? Time is up. The answer is Daniel Defoe. All right, number eight. Give the A word that designates a low female voice. Yes, continental. Alto. Alto is correct. What is 400% of 90? Yes, Riverdale. 360. 360 is correct. And your final question in round one. What airship exploded in 1937 in New Jersey? Riverdale. The Hindenburg. Hindenburg is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of round one. And here is our score. And it's a tight one. Continental with 30 points. Riverdale with 40. That means, Riverdale, you are going to lead this round. You have five questions with five points apiece. They are all yours, but please buzz in with your answer. Name the Boston Red Sox's baseball stadium. Yes. Fenway Park. Fenway Park is correct. In what year did Operation Iraqi Freedom begin? Uh, 
All right, we had the buzzer first, so that would be the year 2003. Name the mountain that is Washington State's highest peak. Time is up. The answer is Mount Rainier. What professional sports league season was canceled in 2004 and 5? Yes. NBA? NBA is incorrect. That would be the NHL, NHL, the National Hockey League. And your final question in round two. What does the reading on a compact disc? Yes. Music? It is laser, a laser beam. All right, turning over to Continental. Get those uh, buzzers ready. Um, identify the Chinese philosopher whose sayings have been preserved. The answer is Confucius. What Q word means a 500th anniversary? Yes. Quincentennial, Quincentennial is correct. <laughs> Name London's two word clock tower. Yes. Big Ben. Big Ben is the answer there. What U.S. president's biography is titled Profit from Plains? Yes. Thomas Jefferson. That is incorrect. Jimmy Carter is the answer. And your final question in round two. Identify the country that has a coin called the loony. Yes. North Korea. North Korea is incorrect. The answer is Canada. All right, we've come to the end of rounds one and two, and here's our score. Again, a tight one. Riverdale with 45 points, Continental with 40. We'll be back to wrap up the game right after this.